listening to Radio August. Dark Nights with Poe and Monroe. It's five o'clock and I'm Alice Monroe with your August update. August police are appealing for information following the murder of 21-year-old Dorota Shaw. Miss Shaw's body was discovered last night. Chief DuPont is calling the crime a violent and despicable act. Anyone with information about the murder is urged to get in touch via the department's confidential tip hotline. It's horrible, Poe. Indeed it is. You need to learn when to keep your mouth shut. Exactly. Rewind. You're listening to Radio August. Dark Nights with Poe and Monroe. It's five o'clock and I'm Alice Monroe with your August update. August police are appealing for information following the murder of 21-year-old Dorota Shaw. Miss Shaw's body was discovered last night. Chief DuPont is calling the crime a violent and despicable act. Anyone with information about the murder is urged to get in touch via the department's confidential tip hotline. It's horrible, Poe. Indeed it is. You need to learn when to keep your mouth shut. You know why you're here, don't you? Then humor me, the dead girl, and this. What exactly were you thinking? You have one job. Don't get caught. Do you think you can do that this time? It's a rhetorical question. You're going to a town called August. Find Chief DuPont. He's gonna think you're someone else. This person. This is who you are now. Understood? Understood? Splendid. If someone so much as sniffs that you're different, you'll be deprecated. Deprecated. We expect you to use your ability. Just don't get caught. And never, ever change into a child. In brighter news, August resident Mia French is celebrating the return of her missing pooch, Bali. The eight-month-old Basset Hound puppy was found outside Daryl's chicken and ribs. And that's five o'clock with Poe and Monroe. I'm Violet. Welcome to the guest house. There are some rules. In particular, no shoes in the guest house. The carpet's priceless. Now, how long are you staying for? Yes, the chief said it may be a while. I can see you don't mind getting your hands dirty, though. There's not been many visitors of late. Perhaps the murder will bring some tourists in. Mm -hmm. 
Sometimes we wish we'd asked something and the moment just... passes. Yes, the murder. You haven't spoken to the chief yet, have you? Chief Dupont, he's the one who booked the room for you. You look lost. You should probably go and speak to the chief. Your room is just down the hall, last on the left. It has its own back door. The chief said that's the way you'd like it. Just finishing. You don't believe? That's okay. Sometimes life is just a stream of coincidences. Hi, I'm Bronwyn. Pleased to meet you, Sam. If you'd like a reading. So, what's your question, Sam? <sighs> the fool. I'm going to see a lot more of you, aren't I, Sam? Enjoy the journey. But remember, not everything is winnable. I'm in room one and that's down the hall. Rain's in two, Lexi's in three. And which room are you in, Sam? Mysterious. But I know you're in room four, Sam. Don't do anything I wouldn't do in there. She gets to the cashier, she realizes she's left her money at home. And then the cashier makes her put everything back on the shelves, but it never ends. And Good, you got my message. Chief Inspector Dupont. I wasn't sure you'd come, but I suppose you're between jobs? Well, we both know that's not true. But I like it. Sam, that's your cover now. So, the job. Dorota Shaw, 21, the compass cellist, redhead. Strangled. I know who did it, but I need proof. It's the tarot readers. because they predicted it. The older one, uh, Bronwyn, she came into my office last night talking all crazy and saying Dorota was in trouble. I did my best not to lock her up. <laughs> it all sounded crazy to me. Tarot, the spirit world, cards that move, trans-dimensional thingamajigs? To be honest, I thought she'd been smoking something. And that's why I didn't take it seriously. Because things I don't have enough on her. That's where you come in. The free guest house day isn't free. I need you to work the case and report back to me. Find out things from the inside. Can you do it? Okay. I'll be telling everyone that you've been hired by the Shores because obviously local law enforcement is either too incompetent or too overworked to solve anything. That gives you license to talk to people, but only notionally. Don't actually touch people or annoy them. You don't have any real authority, understand? But you help me out, I'll help you. Do I have to spell it out? I'll make your problem go away, or at least sink it to the bottom of a pile of paperwork. Your old town? The problem? Come and find me when you're settled. This is Second Chance Sunday for you, Sam. Don't blow it.
What do you want to know? She was a cellist, selected for a scholarship at Juilliard. It was in the local paper. I'm more of a Bon Jovi fan myself. Don't read the paper, do you? Yesterday, Monday the 9th at approximately 9pm, according to the coroner, we got a call from the mother just after 10pm. In her bedroom, she was naked, strangled. No signs of sexual activity of any kind. It was a weird scene to look at. There was one thing, but it's strictly between you and me. Dorota had a gold coin in her mouth. I'm being serious now, Sam. Not a word of this. It's the one thing only the killer would know. They're as thick as thieves, covering for each other. Well, except the male one. You'll see what I mean. Obviously. Anyone who walks in predicts a murder, then that murder happens. Suspicious. Ah, uh, born here, runs the local guest house. Lovely lady. Where are you going with this, Sam? What she told you? She told you she's taking pills, didn't she? Let me handle Violet. She didn't kill anyone. Not much. Perhaps you should do some investigating? You must be a new guest. Or you're burglaring us. I'm Rain, by the way. I heard you say earlier your name's Sam. You don't look like a Sam. We did a reading. A group reading, actually. With a special tarot deck. You get it piecemeal, not everything in one reading. The last one we did showed a young woman being murdered. Young, talented, probably red-headed. I didn't know her. I know she was called Dorota Shaw. She was young, had red hair, a talented musician. Next victim? Whoa! <laughs> Hold on a sec, we don't even know if there's going to be a next victim or not. We'll do another group reading soon, and then we'll have a better idea. Mercury? It's not exactly from here. Uh, with a normal tarot deck, you'd have the question, so you'd be the querent. With Mercury, it gives you the question and the answer. The cards themselves kind of change. It's a special deck. Okay, fine. Your lack of interest is unbearable. Those cards have the real power, though. We just interpret it. I was in my room. Praying, actually. I don't believe in God, but I was still praying. It didn't work. My prayer. That the girl would be safe. I assume you've been to see Chief Dupont already. Not really. I'm sure she was a precious lamb, though. Yes, a lamb. Young. Innocent. Lambs get slaughtered, though, don't they? Nice, yes, that's a good description. Actually, I thought she was a bit slutty, to be honest. Mm. 
Sorry. I'm gossiping. I don't want to talk ill of the dead. Ask her boyfriend. Oscar lives at the vicarage next to the church. Don't tell him I sent you, though. I'm sure he's sick of seeing people already. There, tarot readers. I'm thinking of asking them to leave, actually. Demands already? I'm only thinking of doing it. It's the strangest thing. I honestly don't remember. But I imagine I was here or getting groceries somewhere. No, and I didn't murder her if that's what you're asking. I take clozapine. I think they're for anxiety. I'm a very anxious person. Sam, is it? I'm sensing you're not here for a reading. We saw it in the cards, not images, feelings, impressions. Tarot can be very powerful. Not these cards. They only tell us what they want us to know. In my room, reading, I found a trashy romance novel under the bed. I'm assuming it's Violet's. It's all swooning heroines and brooding vampire Casanovas. Thank God Lexi saved me. She came to my room to chat for a little while. That was around nine, I think. You can ask her. I said the book was trashy. Look at this place. If her guest house is anything to go by, Violet's the opposite of trashy. I Chief Dupont thinks I did it. I'm hoping you'll convince him otherwise. I didn't. We've only been here two days. I understand it's suspicious me being a stranger in town, but... It's the truth. We saw danger in the cards and we tried to stop it. Trust me, Sam, we're on the same team. Come on in, make yourself at home. Mi casa es su casa. <laughs> Come on. I don't know anyone in this town, except for Bronwyn and Rain, obviously, and Violet, and the Chief, and now you. Sorry, I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> Good old-fashioned fortune-telling. Well, kind of. We drew a card each and smushed them all together. Do you know what the most dangerous tarot card is? Everybody thinks that. It's such a cliche. The death card doesn't even mean death. Most of the time. <laughs> the Five of Swords? I think so anyway. There's nothing more dangerous than someone taking whatever they want no matter the cost. Yeah, I did. Rain got the Knight of Wands, that's Dorota, and Bronwyn got the Ten of Swords, which is, well, you know, <laughs> swords in general are bad. <laughs> 
she's like my big sister, so pretty well. You know the Chief's got it all wrong. Ron could never hurt anyone. But I'm sure a smart detective like you can help prove she's innocent. Really? Because she is completely innocent. The cards told us to. Well, the cards of rain. Tara gives us a rough direction and he narrows it down with some astrological jiggery pokery. He's basically a walking esoteric library. And if that sounds dull, let me reassure you, it is. No. Well, yeah. Well, no. We have a job to do. I didn't say job, I said job. Okay, we make a um, cheese obelisk, a chob, and depending on the shape of that chob, we get different answers to questions. <laughs> no, you don't. I was in my room all night with Bronwyn. We were um, painting our nails. You can ask Bronwyn, we were together. Not together together, that sounded kinkier than meant it to. Find somewhere safe to transition. You're not a superhero. Hi, I... <clears throat> Hi. Hi, I'm Chief DuPont. Who knows whether you've made the right decision or not, Claude. How's Bronwyn been? Overly nice. She's covering her tracks well, if she has anything to hide. What? You just told me to report back to you if I noticed anything suspicious. Good grief, Claude. You're a bit young to be losing your marbles already. What was Claude, we've been through this. I honestly don't remember. I checked my diary and there's no entry, so I was probably here, as always. How can you not remember, Violet? I think it's the pills I'm on. Dosage isn't right. Chief Dupont. What a pleasant surprise. I think we've covered just about everything twice over, but if you think I'm hiding something... Who Does it bother you, Chief Dupont, knowing there are things in this world that aren't black and white? You don't know what to file me under, and that makes you uncomfortable. Or perhaps you've already made up your mind about me. Why don't you tell me who you think I am? Hmm? You're a con artist. You're a murderer. You're a con artist. I haven't asked anyone for a penny. Good evening, Chief Dupont. Dorota's family, what does the tarot say about them? I can do a reading, if you want. Yes. No. Then I don't know. Not since I've met her. She's a lawful, good type character. If you play D&D. Lexi ever been in trouble with the police? Have you ever been in trouble with the police? Lexi? No. Not to my knowledge. She's sweet and innocent. 
Or haven't you picked up on that yet? Oh, Chief Inspector, you gave me a shock. What is it? What have I done? Tell me about Bronwyn. She's an Aquarius, her favourite colour is green. What else do you need to know? Is she your leader? Has she killed before? Are you prepared to go to jail for her? Jail? What for? I haven't done anything wrong. Aiding and abetting a criminal. I don't need a reason. Aiding and abetting a criminal. I'll aim and abet Bronwyn to the day I die, but she's not a criminal. Why are you here in August? Well, it's not for the nightlife, I can tell you that. This is where the cards told us to go. I guess you could call it destiny. Do you know anyone here? What's wrong with the nightlife? There isn't any. And sometimes a girl needs a party. What were you doing last night? Nothing. I mean, I was here all night. This cat's on a bronze can vouch for me. Hello, I'm Violet. I'm Violet. What's going on, Violet? Is everything okay? Yes, I'm okay. No, I'm not okay. What's the matter? The new detectives acting strangely. I think I might be the killer. I don't feel safe. I... The new detective. That's to be expected. I told Sam to do whatever it takes to get the job done. Maybe strange is one of those things. Look, off you go. I'm being subtle. I don't want to see you back here, okay? You got anything to report? Give me a call. Any problems? Talk to Danny. Danny, remember? Danny? We just talked about this? I said I'd post somebody this morning, and I did. Then I told you it was Danny. Take the pills, Violet. Take the pills. You don't trust me, do you, Violet? Is it because I read tarot? Why don't you let me pull a card for you? No. Okay. No. Okay. Did you sleep? Yes, thank you. I didn't see you yesterday evening. Mrs. Gallagher, an unexpected pleasure. How long are you planning to be here? In town? I really don't know. Until the tarot tells us to leave, or you kick us out, obviously. <laughs> How did you know Dorota was going to die? Why do you think the police suspect Bronwyn? Now that's a uh, very good question. Logically speaking, you'd assume all three of us were in on it. Or none of us. Hello, Violet. Is everything okay? Ignore the mess. I was just going to tidy it up. Did you have a pleasant evening last night? Great, thanks. The room's really lovely. But you weren't in this room, were you? I didn't see you around yesterday evening. I stayed here. I was playing solitaire uh, with Bronwyn. Isn't solitaire for one player? You weren't painting your nails. Isn't solitaire for one player? Yeah, um, I was playing and she was scoring.
Hi, I'm Bronwyn. I'm Bronwyn. Hi, I'm Lexi. Oh, um, <clears throat> I'm Lexi. Hello, I'm Rain. I'm Rain. I'm Rain. Rain, I'm busy. You gonna turn yourself in? Yeah. No. Then you're wasting my time. Have you met the new detective yet? We're basically under 24-hour surveillance now. Do you think Sam's onto us? Onto what exactly? The real reason we're here. What we did. Our role in the murder. The real reason we're here. What we did. Last night. As far as Sam's concerned, me and Lexi were together and you were praying in your room. It's half true, at least. Rain, I'm so worried about Bronwyn. What are we going to do? Why are you worried? The chief thinks she killed Dorota. Maybe she did kill Dorota. Hi, I'm Lexi. Oh, um, <clears throat> I'm Lexi. What is it, Miss Taylor? Why did you hire? Who would want to kill Dorota? Why did you hire Sam? I didn't hire Sam. The Shaw family did. No, they didn't. Why did you hire Sam? Tarot cards tell you that. <sighs> Listen, Sam gets results. Nobody knows how, but the results are got. I want the killer found as quickly as possible. You've got a problem with that. Dorota's boyfriend seems sweet. Have you met him? Yes. Miss Taylor, is that a contradiction? It's not what you said in your written statement. Sorry, I meant no. Yes. Yes, you did. Who would want to kill Dorota? Are you doing your own investigation? Great! Let me know when you find out. Bronwyn thinks you've got it in for her. I go after bad guys. If she's a bad guy, then I've got it in for her. Why weren't the police protecting Dorota? What were you doing Monday night? Why weren't the police protecting Dorota? <sighs> in hindsight, that does look like a good idea, doesn't it? We didn't believe you. We still don't. Hello, Lexi. What can I do for you? Please don't ask us to leave. The police want the police want alibis from everyone for last night. Well, I don't have one. I literally can't remember what I was doing. Please don't ask us to leave. Have you been speaking to Sam? You're safe for the minute. That sounds ominous. I can use the money, to be honest. What's up, Lexi? I'm sensing something's on your mind. I'm worried about our alibi. Don't worry about that. We don't have anything to hide. I'm more worried about Violet. I didn't see her last night, did you? You think she's the murderer? Did Violet know Dorota? I have no idea. They're both redheads. Maybe August has a club.
Something's weird, isn't it? Everyone seems strange today. How are you? Do you think Bronwyn might get falsely imprisoned? It happens all the time. Are you looking to take over? No. I'm just worried. Hi, I'm Bronwyn. I'm Bronwyn. Miss Castle, I'm surprised to see you here. I didn't kill Dorota. You're a prime suspect, and your alibi is that you were in the guest house with another prime suspect at the time. It doesn't look good for you. Have you got a problem with me? Everyone has a problem with you, Bronwyn. I can arrest you for something right now. How does perverting the course of justice sound? Kinky. Oh, you are pushing me today, young lady. Is there something I can help with, Miss Castle? I hope we're not being too much trouble. It's very brave of you to tell the Chief that Dorota will be murdered and then stick around afterwards. I'd have run for sure. You strike me as someone braver than that. I'm brave, but I'm not stupid. Ron, are you okay? I'm not okay. Well, if you're worried, I should be worried. Why are you worried? Should I be worried? Are you Only if you are. This could go on in circles for a while. Let's just keep cool and stay in our rooms. Ron, something doesn't feel right. I don't know what exactly, but... It's not right. Thoughts on Dorota? Well, it's hard to say with just one victim. Musical talent, red hair. If there's another, there will be a pattern. Do you think it's another right? A right? As in the same thing we were chasing after in Birmingham? I suppose it doesn't really matter. Just have to try and stop it. Stop it? Yes, stop it. If it's a traveller killing things. Traveller? Tra Bron, you're acting weird. Are you still you? Uh, no. Of course. Stop freaking me out. It's not cool in this current climate. It's six o'clock and you're listening to Radio August. Police investigating the murder of Dorota Shaw are appealing to the community to help catch her killer. The body of 21-year-old Miss Shaw, an accomplished cellist, was found in her home last night. Police are describing the murder as a violent and despicable act. Monroe? It's just terrible. 
Meanwhile, out of respect for the victim and her family, this weekend's Tulip Festival has been postponed. New dates will be announced shortly, so do stay tuned to Radio August for updates. I heard Dorota Shaw was due to play this weekend. At the Tulip Festival? Indeed. I understand why they'd want to postpone it. Tonight the weather will be mostly dry and warm, but be on the lookout for dark clouds on the horizon, as there may be scattered showers. Best take an umbrella, Monroe, so you don't get wet. I like getting wet. That's six o'clock with Poe and Monroe. Who are you? You were what? Get out of here before I call the police. Any more news on Oscar Wainwright? I'm a bit busy, Sam. Maybe you can go on my behalf. Just the tarot readers. No one else is remotely suspicious compared to them. Uh, Dorota's an only child. She lived with her mum and dad. Monday night was movie night, so they'd go and watch the 8 o'clock at the Odeon. Dorota would get the house to herself. They're devastated, naturally. They left town to stay with relatives. They didn't do it, Sam. Well, uh, perhaps I should have made them stay. Rain says he was praying in his room, alone. Nobody corroborates. Bronwyn and Lexi say they were in the same room last night. Shame they can't agree which one. The tarot readers mentioned Birmingham. You're looking into it. There's some talk about a traveller. Whatever that is. Dorota's boyfriend Oscar is in the clear as far as I'm concerned, but I'm still waiting to hear what he tells you. Violet says she doesn't remember last night, but I've got that in hand. That's it. No, no, as far as I can tell, Oscar is a good boy. But we've all got different faces now, haven't we, Sam? The masks we wear. I could be a satanic cultist behind closed doors, but you'd never know, would you, Sam? The she flaunts herself. Her body had boudoir photographs taken. Who do you think those photos were for, Sam? Her mother? Not really, just gossip. Apparently she went to have some portrait photos done and started stripping off. Weston's photographic. Zack. Weston. He'll get himself into trouble one of these days. If you keep taking pictures of pretty girls in their underwear, somebody's going to get upset. Zack's the local photographer. You should go and talk to him, Sam. You're good at talking. At Weston's photographic? Off the high road? It's late, but he's always there. I have a good memory. I'm still holding grudges from when I was four. She gets easily confused. Youth of today. Fine. Jeev Tupon was breathing down her neck, so we thought it would be simpler if we stuck together. If these walls weren't separating our rooms, then technically it'd be true. To protect Lexi, none of this is her fault and she gets anxious easily. I was just trying to take the pressure off. I'm, I'm sorry, Sam. I, 
I never usually lie. I was logged into Tarotasm. It's a phone reading service and I get paid by the minute. Which, now that I'm saying it, it's not something I really should be bragging about. Yes, he came to see me. He wanted to know that she was okay, spiritually speaking. No, I wouldn't know how. I'm a tarot reader, not a medium. Maybe I should have pretended though, made up some fake message from her to give him some comfort. I don't actually believe in the spirit world. Well, not as you know it anyway. Sam, what can I do for you? We're trying to save people. I said we're trying. We have a gift. We have Mercury, the tarot. It tells us where bad things are going to happen, and we try and stop them. Birmingham. We couldn't save anyone there either. The problem with travellers is... <laughs> well, let's put a pin in this one, Sam. Let me ask Bronwyn. If she says it's okay to talk about it, it's okay to talk about it. We didn't. Lexi used a Ouija board to get the name. It's Lexi's thing. I don't personally go near them, but in this case, it did help. No. Lexi needs to give it context from the tarot reading. A lot of the time it comes up with nothing. Or a sordid comment directed at Lexi. <laughs> I think that's why she keeps using it, to be honest. Once we thought there was going to be a murder, Lexi used the Ouija board to find out the victim's name. It spelled out the rotor. Just... <laughs> this is going to sound weird. Um, most people believe Ouija boards contact the dead. So if Lexi contacts a dead person, that person needs to know what happens in the future. Ergo, maybe the person she's contacting is from the future. A time traveller who died here. Yes. Well, not just time travel, time and space travel is also possible. If we accept the fact there are multiple realities, we must also accept there are others like us who found a way to travel between these realities. Hi Sam, back for more already. Oh, it's just your run-of-the-mill spirit communication device. Want to know how it works? Cool, okay. So Ouija boards send us messages from the spirit world, right? But where is the spirit world? I mean, there's planets and stars in space. The spirit world must be really far away beyond all that. With so far to travel, messages from the spirit world must take ages to get here. Like how light from the sun takes eight minutes or something to reach us. You still with me? Ah, oh, you're sweet. Um, where was I? Oh, so here's my point. The spirit world is actually several hours ahead of us. That's how we get messages about things that haven't happened yet. That's how we got Dorota's name. Because in the spirit world, she was already dead. I know, mind-blowing. Traveller, that's a really old role-playing game, isn't it? Oh, did he now? Well then, you know what I know. I guess you must be a part of our inner circle. How's it feel? I didn't! How did you find out? 
Am I in trouble? Ron was worried about me not having an alibi. She was logged in doing phone readings, so she's alright. But there's nothing to prove that I was here. I was though, cross my heart and hope to die. No, I think Bronwyn met him though. You'd have to ask her, or him, it's not my place to say. Your ability isn't endless. It will run out at some point. Hi, I'm Bronwyn. I'm Bronwyn. I'm truly sorry about Dorota. I didn't see you here last night. What are you implying? It's just suspicious. Nothing. Sorry. All this talk of the dead makes me very anxious. I'm truly sorry about Dorota. I didn't really know her. I saw her pictures in the newspaper. Can't remember what for right now. You can tell Sam about Birmingham. What did you tell the police you were doing last night? I told them the truth, that I was in my room. I'm not sure if they can fact check it, but it's the only alibi I've got. Kind of wish we'd all stuck together now. When should we do another reading? The police think it's me, don't they? Looks that way. Have you been feeling possessed lately? Sorry, too soon. You can tell Sam about Birmingham. Well, what can I tell Sam that you haven't already? You know Sam likes a fact check. I don't really know Sam. But if you're sure, then I guess I'm sure. Miss Castle, more unexpected pleasures. What did Dorota's boyfriend say about me? Something about a message you wouldn't deliver? Did you want him to be a special friend? Is that why you killed his girlfriend? I didn't kill Dorota. Yeah, yeah, let's do this again. Chief, I didn't kill Dorota. I was in my room. Oh, but you can't prove it, Bronwyn. You're going to jail for a long, long time. I was... You said you were with another one of the readers. All I'm saying is that Violet didn't recall seeing any of you. Violet doesn't remember where she was. Did she tell you that? Hmm. She's playing with you to get you to open up. Didn't expect you to come back. Have you contacted Dorota? No. Yes. She forgives you. No. Oh, so you've just come to see me. I'm sorry the police ignored our prediction. It's okay, just... How did you know? How did you come up with a name and then... She's gone. She's not gone. She's waiting to pass. Waiting to pass? I don't understand what you mean, waiting to pass. They haven't even buried her yet. They're probably still doing forensics and horrible things to her. Do you get on with Dorota? Not really. Especially not now. I convinced I got her into the wrong crowd or something. Am I really a bad influence? Yes. No. Thanks, Bronwyn. 
I, I know it's a bit soon, but maybe we can grab coffee sometime? Just, just to chat about things. No, yes. That would be nice. I like you, Bronwyn. How about soon? How about tonight? I can come to the guest house? No, you... sure. So it's a date. Sort of. I'll, I'll see you soon. Hi. Hey. Hello. Sorry, I'm not used to dating so soon. I'm actually not in the mood and It's okay. We can take it slowly. Oh, um, I, I wasn't sure I was thinking on doing anything, you know, physical. Get up on the bed. <sighs> uh, I really don't think I'm ready for this. Sorry, I don't know what- Shh. No, no, wait, please. Uh, can, can you just get off me, please? I'm, I'm sorry, you're right. Oh, I want you inside me. Get, get off me! Get off! I can't do this. I don't care what the chief wants. I just can't. How can you want to sleep with me? Did you kill her? Did you kill Dorota? Yeah, no. Yes, you did. You liar, you did. Hi, I'm... <clears throat> Hi. Hi, I'm Chief Dupont. 